Hi everyone, welcome to Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters YouTube channel where we emphasize play-based learning, wellness, and research-based solutions to issues in early childhood education. If you're new here, please subscribe, like, and share, and stay tuned for more exciting videos. Now let's talk about how to transform a preschool classroom into a play-based learning environment. Step one, unleash your inner child. Our shows like Bleepy, for instance, here on YouTube with Stephen Jones, Blue's Clues, Yoga Bagaba with DJ Lance, Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers, are shows that have adults acting like children, you know? So if you want to be a very good teacher with preschoolers, you have to act like a preschooler. Um, Leo Boscaglia has a quote here I really love, and he says, I am often accused of being childish. I prefer to interpret that as childish. I still get widely enthusiastic what, 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 about little what, things. I tend to exaggerate and fantasize and embellish. I still listen to instinctual urges. I play with leaves. I skip down the street and run against the wind. I never water my garden without soaking myself. It has been after such times of joy that I have achieved my greatest creativity and produced my best work. This is what Pablo Picasso Says. He says every voice. child is an I artist. The problem voice. is how to remain an artist once he grows up. Step two, create learning centers. Centers are activities in designated parts of a particular classroom. Center activities can be guided, which in other words is teacher assisted, or independent, which is solely by the student. Center activities can be done at different times during the school day. Center time provides opportunities for children to develop and fine-tune their social skills, time management skills, you know, help with language development, help with creativity and imagination, and also help them with perfecting their skills of writing, reading, and art. I'm going to leave a video description below where... I'm sorry, I'm going to leave a video link below where we did it like a tour of our entire classroom so you can see how our classroom is set up with centers. Step three, open-ended toys. Open-ended toys are toys that are very volatile or fluid. They can be played with in a multiplicity of ways. And there is no end to the creativity and imaginative powers of a child when they have open-ended toys. Well, I did make a video of five must-haves in a preschool classroom. Please feel free to check that out. Step four, encourage children to build self-confidence. These are my favorite whys. You are amazing. You are phenomenal. You are my super duper trooper helper. And feel free to replace helper with any, any word you like. You can also encourage children by using rewards. This is our reward basket. Just simple stuff. There are markers which we use for stars on the back of the hand or sometimes on the palm. There's the um, easy button. There's just this nice friendly star. You know, simple things. Children love simplicity. You can be creative um, with your reward system. That was easy. Step five, emphasize more independent play as opposed to guided learning. So let the children play independently, you know, without you interacting with them or um, interrupting their play. Let them explore the learning centers, you know, provide opportunities for them to play independently and in groups with their friends. Step six, provide opportunities for children to learn life skills. When you have life skills, you can navigate the vicissitudes of life successfully. For preschoolers, teaching life skill is very important as it encourages self-care. Pick up your subject, 
self-employed how i make in time management skills some examples of life skills you can teach preschoolers include shoe tying putting um, shoe strings tying putting shoes oh, or man. socks on cooking yeah, hand washing party training watering plants maneuvering through zippers buttons snaps and belts let's spread the soil cleaning up spread, putting spread, cats spread. away you know helping with nature oh. By Sebastian's doing um, great. gardening, Dorian's you doing know, great. watering plants, or taking care of life, you know, as in, if, for instance, if you have a pet, they can feed and um, things like that. <laughs> we like to party. <laughs> we like to, to party. Have some of our life move skills, it. you know, activities move it, move it. you can see. Move it, move yeah, it. They're dancing and moving to music. Move it, do it. Yeah. And now you know how very important hand washing is as well. Step 7. Use weekly and or monthly themes. A synonym for theme is big idea. A theme-based learning approach is one that uses several units of learning to create a unified whole. When you organize learning using themes in your classroom, you are able to help children connect prior knowledge to new knowledge. Children are fully and actively engaged in learning activities. Three, two, Teachers become one, very creative in providing authentic learning experiences for their preschoolers. Youth themes, they're very important. Step eight, include small and large group Find learning. F for fence. Small group learning simply means reducing the teacher to student ratio. It could involve learning Fence. situations with one teacher and Can one child, we find or one teacher and one or football. more children with similar learning needs. Large group learning is when Can you teach we the find entire group F4 together. It's okay feet. to do a group learning, but because every feet. learner is unique and different, it is necessary Can we find that you occasionally F4 teach smaller fire. groups. You can boost confidence when you do in independent um, small can group we learning. Find you can F um, help children flag. by giving them one-on-one -on -one needed attention. You can, can also help them work on specific F4 learning needs. For instance, you have noticed child A is having lots of problems with recognizing Two, colors. Three, it's okay to do a one-on-one -on -one five, color six, flag card seven, or other activities. Eight, you know, nine, separate ten, from the main group 11, to help that particular 12, child learn color. Yeah. Step nine, don't be afraid to teach. Remember, Play-based learning also involves teaching. What's as that? much as you step away to provide opportunities for preschoolers to discover, explore, and imagine, and it's an it is also necessary that you are quick to identify with teachable moments. For F. instance, when children are fighting, separate Something them immediately up. and reiterate Something the benefits of getting watch along. It, watch it, watch Teach it. the sounds of letters so <laughs> children can eventually blend and read. Support a child's pencil grip by holding their hand till um, til they can, you know, write a flower that Make with lessons letter. short. I suggest five minutes or yes. less because Just preschoolers like a are not built for long and a lessons. Fork. Um, use real objects okay. as There's much more. as possible. There's more. Make your lessons very Watch active, this. fun, and engaging. And something else that can help you with your preschool Starts lesson with the letter as a teacher is F. the words. You know, F. be very creative. One of can our you say flashlight when a child gets something right. Flashlight. Oh, I just say most of the child's here. name is Joe. Man, I say, what else is in here? Joe, what do you want to be? And he says, I want to be a Joe, 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 Joe. Run around the classroom because you're so That's smart. That's with the letter. You are so F. smart. Joe, 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 oh, Joe. I think Run there's one more stuff. The classroom. Right. I think there's Go. one. See. Let's see if I can get Joe. it up. You know, and the child is happy and confident and encouraged to What's learn that? even more or to participate Sometimes when you're sweating, you do this. I'm just going to leave you. What is it? You know, leave you guys with this little lesson we did. I think this was last week. It's a paper and this was on fan. the letter F. It's a paper fan. Can you see another fan in the classroom? Yes, 
it starts with it oh that's true sometimes you don't have a brother or a sister but some people have brothers and sisters and Hapa has a, a brother dog Lulu's your brother dog. Yeah. Yeah. I like you. Lulu is Harper's. You have to, you, you, we have to see if mommy wants you or daddy wants you to have a, a pet. Pets are very, very hard to take care of because you have to bathe them, you have to brush their teeth, you have to take them Wait, for a cats walk. Want to brush their teeth. Cats? Hmm. You don't have Step 10. Use music, poetry, and dance. Music, poetry, and dance are essential aspects of a preschool play-based learning environment. Children have an inner block of music, and as they move to music, they are not only having fun, but also releasing learning. Exposure to music, poetry, and dance can improve the child's ability to learn, support multi-sensory development, teach empathy and compassion, prediction skill and memory now here's a bonus step for you you can also use structure in a play-based preschool environment. Structure is an important aspect of a play-based learning environment. Structure is very beneficial to teachers and even their students. Some ways you can include structure are you have to be consistent, you have to set boundaries, you can reveal your expectations so children know what you expect of them. You can also use calendars, themes, and routines. Remember, as much as you use structure, be flexible. Use lots of yeses and choices. It's okay, you know, these are examples. It's okay to cry, but, you know, um, running is not a bad thing to do, but you can have this toy for five minutes after which someone else gets it or gets a turn. I know you're sad and angry, but, you know, let children understand that you, you understand how they feel, but it's also important to set boundaries and use structure if you want to have an organized play-based program or learning environment. You, you, um, the activities you create, you have to have time for them, you know, there's, there's a meal, there are meal times breakfast, they eat lunch, they eat snack, you know, depending on how your program is set up. So structure is very important. Even if um, it's not, it, it doesn't have to be like set on, on stone, you know, you can be flexible sometimes. It's very important that you have structure in a play-based learning. to touch them. They don't mind you touching them. One, mm -hmm. two, three. How many boys? One, two, three. three. Oh, okay. Boys, I'm going to write three right here. 
Okay. Hmm. Dorian, can you count the girls? One, two. How many girls? Two girls. I'm gonna put two right here. Yeah. Okay. Everybody, everybody, dance around the classroom because you're so smart. Dance around the classroom. Everybody, everybody, dance around the classroom. Come stand here. Come on. Can you count everybody? One, two, three, four. And Five children in the classroom. Okay? There are 12 months in a year, and they are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, boom, boom. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, boom, boom. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, boom, boom. Days of the week, boom, boom. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, boom, boom. January, February, March, May. We are in May. Actually, we have to start from days of the week. So the day is, get this too, you're going to need this too. The day is Monday. Monday. Can you back up there?